hello, welcome back to the video lectures. Hooray. Um, it seems like this is something that we are uh, all going to get used to. So, yay. All right, so today, hopefully you have your guided notes packet for differential equations. I have mine right here. And we are going to um, start with the first couple of pages in this first one, and then I'll keep making the videos, and so hopefully you keep um, watching after this first section. But again, don't go through the whole thing just at one time because there's a lot of content in here, but I'm really excited about it because differential equations are one of my absolute favorite parts of math and there's a ton of applications. If I had a dollar for every time I'd say that, I would be so rich because math is everywhere in school. But anyway, so today we are going to introduce ourselves to the idea of a differential equation. This begs the question, what exactly is a differential equation? So to start, it will be useful to remind ourselves of some notation. So given that a function is y equals f of x, oh, I didn't write that. Given y equals f of x, we know that y prime is the same thing as f prime of x, which is the same thing as dy over dx, and these all refer to the first derivative of whatever function we have, right? This should be old news, we're experts, derivatives, Next question. Y double prime is the same thing as f double prime of x, which is the same thing as d squared y over dx squared. All referring again to the second derivative. And then this little blank there is going to try and get you at the third derivative, which is going to be y triple prime, which is the same thing as f triple prime of x, which is the same thing as d cubed y over dx cubed. Okay, so old derivative notation, if you don't remember it, there it is. All right, so now let's get to the actual definition. So definition, a differential equation is, and I'm going to say it and then I'm going to write it so you can have time to like also write it, an equation that relates a function with one or more of its derivatives. So I'm going to set it and now I'm going to write it. A differential equation is an equation. Equation. Okay, but when we look at our equation, 
I'm telling you that the solution is y equals e to the negative 3x. We can't just plug this in because this isn't y, right? This is y double prime. This isn't y, this is y prime. This we can plug in right there. But then we still have these two things floating up there. So again, what we're going to need to do is find the first and second derivatives. We're going to go back to the land of derivatives. So y prime is equal to, hopefully you remember your e derivative rules and whatnot. If you don't, um, definitely go back and brush up on those. But the first derivative is going to be negative 3e e to the negative 3x. And the second derivative is going to be 9e e to the negative 3x. And again, if you don't understand where those came from, I really want you to go back um, to your derivative notes. And if you don't have them, then Google it or something. But I want you remembering derivative rules. And yeah, because it's also going to be important in differential equations. Or you could come to tutorial and we'll talk through it. But I don't want to spend time in this video talking about derivative rules because we're on um, differential equations. Anyway, so now that we have the first and second derivative, we can go ahead and plug that back into the OG equation, right? So here's our OG equation. So y double prime, 9e to the negative 3x plus 2 times y prime, negative 3e to the negative 3x is equal to 3 times y, e to the negative 3x. So 9e to the negative 3x minus 6e to the negative 3x is equal to 3e to the negative 3x. 9 minus 6 is, what do you know? 3e to the negative 3x is equal to 3e to the negative 3x. Check, smiley face. Checks out. Turns out that y equals e to the negative 3x is in fact a solution to this differential equation. So that's pretty exciting. Not too hard to check um, as long as we remember our derivatives. But anyway, what do you know? The function y equals e to the negative 3x is in fact a solution to our differential equation. Notice how I said a solution and not the solution. Does this, in fact, mean there are more solutions? Well, of course there are more solutions. So let's try another one. So erase all this. Oh, I shouldn't have erased the. So we, again, still have the same differential equation. y double prime plus 2y prime equals 3y. And now try y equals e to the x. Maybe this is an easier one that I should have started with because what is the derivative of e to the x? e to the x, of course. And what is the second derivative of e to the x? Still e to the x. So that was a little bit easier, but still. All right, and now let's plug these into the OG equation. y double prime e to the x plus 2 times y prime 2 times e to the x equals 3 times y. 3 e to the x. 1 plus 2 is 3e to the x equals 3e to the x. Check, smiley face. All checks out. Bam. We have verified two solutions to this differential equation. So that is the tip of the iceberg. Differential equations are really interesting, and you'll see as we start to get further into this unit, super relevant to applications of math in our everyday lives. <laughs>